my name's Kieran, and this is Bo, and today we're going to show you how to make some separators for a native beehive. Now, the idea of having a separator in your native beehive is um, it, it prevents honey spillage for when you split a hive, and so if you design it in a certain way, a brood is able to, to grow up through the middle of it, and you can have some small holes around the outside of the separator to be able to split the hive without having the honey spill and uh, a lot of honey spillage when you separate or split a hive can be detrimental to the long-term survival of the hive. So what we've got is some of our template bee boxes. This is one that, that we can separate automatically and, and on these it's just four pieces of timber that are screwed together. They're about 10 centimetres high uh, and on, um, on each of those all I need to do is be able to put a lid and then on the underside put a bottom. Uh, before I put the lid down, I'll put a piece of perspex and uh, I'll also drill a hole in the front on the bottom piece for the bees to be able to come in and outside of. Now all we need for doing a separator is basically a sheet of ply, very thin ply that goes between the two uh, hives. Well, the, well, it's actually one hive, but we'll split it later on once the bees have made their, their nest. Um, all you need to do that is a, a, a sheet of thin ply. I've got some here, this is uh, 3 mil. 3 mil fly and what I'll do is I'll mark that up and draw it and then show you what the uh, the, the template's going to look like before we cut it. So here we have the board marked up. So what I've done is I've just divided it up into grids the same size as the box here and on one of these I've just drawn a bit of a template. Now what I'm going to do is cut, I'll cut all of these lines, the, the grid with a circular saw and then I'll stack all the pieces up together and then cut through this template. So what I want to do is cut through the center with a with a hole saw and then I'll just use a, a plunge router to route these channels here and then I'll use a drill to drill out these holes so basically what we'll do is get two of these pieces between each of the box halves and so the bees will be able to build their um, brood up through the center here and they'll still be able to move up and down through these gaps and generally they put their honey in the corners so the idea is they can still move up and down between the honey pots through the drill holes, but when we actually split it, we'll take one of these halves, one of these template separators with one half, and the other template separator with the other half. And so the only breakage of honey should be in these places where there's um, free movement for the bees between each box. Okay, so here's our stack now. I've just zipped them up with this little circular saw. And um, as I went, I just bundled them together with some gaffer tape. So what I'll do now is I'll drill all of our holes and route all of our channels with them in a couple of stacks so that I can do a lot at once. Now look, when you're doing your own um, bee separators, you probably only need to do two. But the reason that I'm doing so many is that when we do our spotter catching work on development sites, we'll also make sure that we translocate the native bees while we're doing work with possums and koalas and all sorts of other things. So as we do our work at Natura Pacific with our fauna surveys, we're identifying where these guys are and uh, flagging them for when the construction works come through to make sure that we can translocate them. Okay, so we've cut our three mil plywood and we've put these holes and router channels in them. So basically the idea is for every box that we have a two part piece for, so we have our perspex and under here, the bees come in through here, um, what we do is we use two of these pieces and we put them inside the box and line them up and then we close the lid down and tape around the outside. Now the idea is once the hive has built a brood all the way up into the second box you're able to take away the connection and when you split the hive you actually take one of the separators with this box and you leave the other separator on this box and what it does is it stops all of this surface area here that if that was to split without a splitter you have a lot of honey coming out so with a splitter like this we'll only have honey leaking where the the holes are and then the brood will be in the middle which doesn't have any honey in it so it's a great way to split some boxes now we've made a big stack of them so that we can put together a whole bunch of other boxes we've got about 20 boxes that we've we've got ready to go and Basically, they're all the same measurements, so we can split one box and put it onto an empty box of another and keep the, the bees duplicating. So, if you want to find out any more about stingless native bees or fauna spotter catching,
contact us at Natura Pacific.